Hey Panning family, thanks so much for being here with me today. Gee whiz, it has been a really long time since I've uploaded anything to my channel, but I decided that today is going to be the day that I'm going to film my Chinese Zodiac Signs Project Pan update number two. This is a collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies. I will be linking the ladies that have a YouTube channel down below so you can check out those if you would like. The creator named Paula, I believe only has an Instagram account. So if you are on Instagram and you are part of the painting community, I'm sure you have access to her as well. But I quickly wanted to give a rundown of what this project is. If you want to see the full intro and update number one, I will have it linked down below so you can see why I selected these items. But basically, you're supposed to select one or more items for each animal in the Chinese zodiac. And it can be makeup, it can be hair care, skin care, body care, anything. So I will just go forth and let's see where I've gotten since April. The first product that I have is a lipstick in Mary Kay's Inspiration. This is for the Year of the Pig. This is a product that I was working on last year, didn't finish it, so I wanted to throw it into this project. And I honestly am not a very good recorder. Mm, this is not a secret, but uh, I think I started at this line here at the beginning of the project, and here I am now. So I've actually worked on this a lot more than I was expecting to. I didn't think that I would be this far along at this point in the project, but now that it's fall and the wind, the weather is getting cooler, I don't think I'm going to reach for this as much, but because I'm so close, I'm still going to try to put it on as much as I can. So that's for the Year of the Pig. The second product I have is for the rat. It is housed in my Too Faced Eye and Cheek Palette. It is the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I will try to insert a close-up of it so you can see the dip that's going on in there. But this was basically brand new when I started it at the beginning of this project. I use it almost every day that I wear makeup. However, I have to use it with a very light hand because it's a little bit dark for my skin tone. So a little bit goes a long way and I don't think there's gonna be pan in it by the end of the project. I'm gonna keep working on it as best as I can, but I'm proud of the progress that I have made so far. For the Ox, I am using my Kate Somerville Uncomplicated SPF Setting Spray with SPF 50, and uh, it's still going. I use it probably not as much as I should have. It expired uh, 5 of 2019, and I'm assuming that's for the SPF component in there. The setting spray still works fine. I do enjoy this. I don't always remember to put it on before I leave the house, but I do like it, and we're still going strong. This next product I'm super excited to share. It is one of the Bite Beauty Mini Matte Lipsticks in the color Coolest, and I selected this for the Year of the Tiger. I use it about once a week, and I am almost done with it. This is as far as I can roll it up. So I really only have, I don't know, five uses less, maybe two, two, three. I'm really bad at estimating, but I really only have a couple of uses left on this before it's gone. And how I've used this is about once a week, I will choose an outfit that would go nicely with a red lip and I'll wear this. And so I've really been only using this once a week since the beginning of the project, and I think I've made really, really good progress on it so far, and I'm certain this will be done by the next update. The next product I have to show you is my Satsuma shower gel from The Body Shop, and this was for the rabbit. Now, I only made a mark not at the beginning of the year, but for my first update back in April, and you can't really see it very well because of the reflection on the windows. Maybe if I tilt it this way. So here's the mark here from April, and then here's the mark here from today in September. Now, I don't use the shower gel every single day when I shower. I do kind of switch up my shower products between soaps and shower gels, but this one is really lovely, and I don't think I'll be finishing it by the end of the project, but we'll see how far I do get with it. This is their largest size, um, 750 mLs, and so it lasts a really long time. It's a really great value. 
The product I have for the dragon is the Stila Glitter and Glow in Kitten Karma. And this one, I had the same sort of plan as I did with my Bite Beauty lipstick. I was going to wear it once a week. And unfortunately, I haven't been very good about keeping up with that. I try to do it, but sometimes I kind of get overwhelmed with the glitter. <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit high maintenance. This one's actually easiest to work with out of all of the glitters that I ever have worked with. Uh, it's really easy. It's just that when you remove it, it takes a little bit of effort and more time than I like to spend. And so that kind of prevents me from using this as much as I should, but I do really enjoy it. And I honestly, I couldn't tell you where I am <laughs> in regards to the progress, but I have been using it occasionally. I really enjoy it. And maybe during the holidays, I'll get a lot more use out of it. For the snake, I have a coffee and sugar scrub from the downtown apothecary. And the last time I showed this to you, I didn't have any of this plastic showing. I think it was all the way to the top and I may have had a dip going in the middle, but I have made quite a dent in it so far. And I use this about once a week when I shower. It seems like once a week is kind of the trick for me <laughs> for this in order to use all of these products. Um, but I don't have a tremendous amount of time every time I shower to use something like this. And plus I feel like the granules in this is a little bit too harsh to use daily. So I think once a week is perfect for me and I really enjoy it. The smell is really delicious. It's almost like, you know, drinking a mocha, <laughs> but without the calories. So the calorie free, anyway, what am I talking about? That's so ridiculous. Anyway, I am enjoying this. I doubt I will finish it by the end of the project, but we're going to keep chugging away. For the horse, I selected the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and this is about where I would have estimated I was at the beginning of the project, or maybe not at the beginning, but in April. When I first started marking these things, like I said, I'm really not a very good recorder, so I didn't do a great job of marking where I was at the very beginning, but this is about where I was in April. This is about where I am now. I use this actually once a week when I use this, so when I put this in my hair to sit for seven minutes, I do a good scrub down. And that is about how far I got. And to be honest, I haven't been extremely good about doing this every week. Sometimes I do forget, but I do have it in my shower. So it is there. I guess I am just blinded to it sometimes. So I'm going to keep working on this. The next product I have to show you is a Three Little Goats soap that I selected for the goat or the ram or the sheep. It's made from goat's milk and it is a goat's milk soap. And I actually use this, started using this maybe in May and then stopped using it probably in June because it was going so, so quickly and thought, oh my gosh, I'm not going to have anything to show for my update if I continue using it. So I've halted its use. This is what it looks like now. And let me pull out one of the full sizes so you can see a comparison of what it looks like full size. And if it will cooperate with me, there we go. Got it. Okay, so this is what the full size looks like. And this is what I have used up. And like I said, it goes really, really fast. This soap is delicious. It's deliciously creamy. It, I mean, you only have to swipe it on your skin and it foams up into this really amazing lather. You don't have to like rub really hard or anything like that. And it really takes so little effort in order to get a really rich, luxurious lather. And I love using it. And so once I opened it up, I really couldn't stop. And so I was actually using this soap instead of this. But here we are, and I'm going to be done with this probably within a couple of weeks time since I'm updating you guys now. So I'm gonna start using it again. So it'll be gone pretty quick. For the monkey, I selected a lip smacker in the scent Strawberry Banana, and I actually don't use this as much as I was thinking I would. The gloss component of this is nice, but it's really not very moisturizing on the lips. So even though these remind me of my childhood and they smell really good, I don't think I'll be buying any more lip smackers in the future. But if I had to guess, uh, I'm probably like around there, so maybe halfway. And as we 
go into the drier months, I am not sure if I'm going to be using this all that much because I need something super moisturizing for my chapped lips. But maybe, you know, on my days off and I just need a quick something on my lips, I'll use this. I'm hoping I will have this done by the end of the project, but if I'm being honest with myself, I don't really want to use it. Even though it smells good, it's just, it doesn't feel all that great on the lips. So we will see how far I get by the end of the project. For the Rooster, I actually selected two products. The first one is the Tarte Inner Rim Liner, and I didn't measure this at the beginning. I don't know how to measure it because I fear it's one of those things where you can twist them up, but you can't twist them back down. But I do use it almost every day in my waterline when I do wear makeup. Unfortunately, it's, for me, it doesn't last very long. I mean, I'll put it in my inner rim and my eyes water a lot and so probably 10-15 minutes there's absolutely no evidence that this ever existed so it, it's not going to be something that I put in my beauty repertoire going forward. I'm just going to use this up and that'll kind of be it. The second item that I chose for the rooster is my Too Faced No Filter Hashtag Too Faced No Filter. I'm not on Instagram. I don't even know what this means. But anyway, it's one of the selfie powders that Too Faced came up with. Um, and it is in the shade Sunrise. I don't want to blind you guys with the mirror here. But I'm using this to set my under eye concealer as a banana powder. And I had a baby pan on it the first time I showed what this looked like and now I have considerably expanded the pan. I do not expect that I will finish this by the end of the project but I do use it every day and I am confident that this pan will be larger by the next time I update you guys. The final product that I have to share is my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in Stray Dog and this is for the dog in the Chinese Zodiac and I have my notebook here to show you the progress that I've made since February. I was actually good and I sh and I made a line of where I was in February at the beginning of the project. So here we are in February and here we are now in September and eyeliners and I move very slowly together. <laughs> we move very slowly. I actually haven't been using this solely all year, but I do use this as much as I can. It doesn't always go with every single eye look that I create, but uh, it's gotten a lot more use than it would have otherwise. Definitely not expecting to finish this by the end of the project, but I'm just going to keep working on it and we'll see where I get. So that is going to conclude this update. Again, if you want to see where I was at the beginning of this project and why I selected everything I did, you can check out that video down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Started in April of 2018, so that's what this mark is up here. But when I started marking for the project, it wasn't until... Oh, gee whiz, I did a really horrible job of marking this. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where I started with this. Is that really necessary to say? I don't even know. Okay, let's try this again. If you can see, I'm sorry for the reflection from the windows, but this is the, this, <laughs> you can't see. This is the mark right here. You can kind of see it. This is the last and final. Oh wait, shoot, I'm not ready for that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So that is the conclusion of my Chinese Zodiac Pan project. Oh my gosh.